This week on The Choice. There is just something about sharing the outdoors with your children. Being able to take RJ out there and to share all of God's country with him and to watch as he witnesses and he gets to to take it all in and to be able to share that as a family and the smile on his face is better than anything else I could ever get. The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Drop the pen. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> You know, proper practice will definitely help you to become better. Yes. In and fact, this week on The Choice, yes, we're, we're going down to Osceola Outfitters and we're doing our annual spring turkey hunt. We're taking this turkey hunt very serious. We are. In fact, we know Practicing we need to hours. practice all the time. In fact, you know what? This week's lucky logo is Hunter Specialties. Yep. So watch for Hunter Specialties. And in the okay. meantime, Shh. we can I'm practice. Him. I'm on him. You see him? I'm, I'm on, on him. him. Okay. Should I take him? I'm on him. I think I want him to go a little further. Okay. I think you got him. I, I got, got him. Congratulations. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, one of our favorite places to go in the springtime is down here at Osceola Outfitters, and we do our yearly turkey hunt down here with Hoppy Kempfer and the rest of the clan. You know, we were all excited to have Ralph and Vicki and RJ come down this year, and you know, I've been guiding turkey hunts for the last week, and things have been going really well. Some of the guys have been getting their birds the first morning, first hour, some of them first five minutes of their hunt. And then, well, Vicki shows up. One of the greatest things about coming down here is usually it's really cold at home and it's warm down here in Florida. Well, it was not the case this year. We came down here, that first morning out, it was like 36 degrees outside. It's, it was only two degrees warmer than it was back in Illinois. Oh my word, weather turns cold. We had some mornings, I think it was 34, 35 degrees. That same morning we had a coyote walking through the pasture and they had everything all riled up and maybe that's why those birds didn't come over that day. Second morning out. Now this is a long turkey hunt down here for Oslo Outfitters. We're usually done on the first day. So the second day, have to get up early again. Again, it's like 34 degrees out that morning. It is stinking cold outside. <laughs> so we're gonna tag team it today? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. you got the bow, I've got a TC, and you yep. gotta get us two, two birds. No problem. Okay, well then let's okay. go. Are we running let's late? What kind of birds are we looking for? What are we waiting? Tur turkeys, oh, gobblers, tur big tur toms, <laughs> beards. Okay, I thought we were going down to the buzzard roost. No, 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 no. Man, we need some grease on that. Yep. There's frost on the ground. We go back out to where we hunted the day before, but this time we're gonna go set up where those birds went that first morning. So now we're gonna outsmart them. I don't know what happened. The birds weren't acting right. Uh, you know, we would sit at one end of the field, turkeys would go to the other end. Doesn't that figure? Turkey's brain is like that big and they can outsmart us every time. Have you ever second guessed yourself? We know what we're gonna do. Tomorrow we're gonna go back to where we sat the first morning. Now, when we got down there, you know, we actually, we decided, RJ and I talked about it, and, and I knew Hoppy wouldn't mind, but it, we're gonna let Vicky hunt first. So we did. I didn't think it'd take her so dang long to do it, though. 
day three, we decided this is it. We have got to start getting some turkeys down. So what we did is we went out early afternoon, we did some driving around, we're glassing for turkeys. Well, we thought, well, if we can see one, maybe we can go run around through the cypress heads, go through at them, try fanning them, see if we can't just run and gun and get us some turkeys down. Cause I mean, this is day three already. We're about ready to get ready to leave for crying out loud. Normally when you come down to Hoppy and Osceola Outfitters, it's like a, it's a one sit deal. Well, then again, Vicky's hunting. So she is gonna milk it for everything. These strutters and all these birds, they don't care what we're doing. They're over there and they don't have any intentions on walking by anytime soon. Finally, finally, they decided they're gonna start walking through. And we thought, okay, this is our opportunity. There is three strutters. There's like three or four more gobblers in this thing. Big old toms, some jakes, some hens. I mean, there is just a pile of turkeys gonna come through here. We're sitting there waiting. It looks like they're closer. All of a sudden they decide they need to go further out and away they go. Well, good night, have fun up in that roost because I'm thinking my hunt's done. We're sitting there and I turn, I look out the right. I'm like, Ralph, there's a bird. He's closer. It's a gobbler. He's missing some breast feathers, but it's a gobbler. He's got a beard. I'm excited. He's got a red head. Yeah, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I can't tell if he's close enough or not. I'm, I'm sitting down low and I keep saying, Ralph, do you think he's close enough? He's close enough. I can't hear what Ralph is saying. And honestly, I don't care because you know what? I know that I'm going to take this bird. He was probably 25, 30 yards out there. And finally, he just gave me that opportunity and it was over. <laughs> Isn't it funny? When she has like a semi-automatic shotgun, she uses all the shells. When she only has that TC for one shot, that's all she needs. <laughs> I'm about ready to give up. And finally, you know, day three, that turkey come right on up to us and give her about a 25 yard shot. And she shot the thing with that TC and put him right down. And it was like, oh, happy day. Oh, oh my goodness. God. <laughs> I, I heard a cluck and I turned around. I was just it's... kept fanning these over here and they just kept going by and I hear a cluck. And I look over and I go, that sounds like a gobbler. When those three were started coming, I stayed way over there trying to get them to come this way. Mm -hmm. And then I was gonna come around and try to toll them by us because obviously my yelping wasn't doing anything. Yeah. So then then when they started going across, I just kept fanning at them, fanning at them. They'd, they'd yeah, he'd look and he'd and, kind of strut a little bit. They're beautiful hear, birds. <laughs> and I go, man, that sounds like a tom. <laughs> I turn my fan and I'm laying on the ground. <laughs> the way things were going, I truly believe that this bird must have committed suicide. He, he evidently, you know, Vicky had made the comment all she could see was this white patch on his chest as he came in. Evidently, you know, he'd been beat up, he'd been knocked out of the, out of the group and, well, he just done what he needed to do. Took one for his team. Cursed so bad, we can't. It's gotta be the cold weather. It's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, come on. But I did it with a single shot. Come on, that's pretty cool, huh? Well, heck, I have to say, <laughs> after the last two years, multiple shots. With, with, with a semi-auto, I did it with a single shot gun. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do, is just give you one shot. That's, I'm better off that way, I think. Look at, he was walking in, and he's got, he's missing oh, he a ton of feathers, and that's not from me. Maybe oh, he got in a fight or something. This. He's got a beautiful long look beard. Oh, look at them spurs. He's got some beautiful long spurs. And look at this nice beard. Good beard. He's missing tail feathers. He's just, he must have, maybe he was just got beat up. He got kicked out or something, huh? Well, he wasn't with the rest of them. Yeah. He got, he got popped by somebody. Probably those three right there. Probably those big strutters going by. But that's okay. Awesome. I got me a turkey <laughs> and we can go get warm clothes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. <laughs> Whew. Finally. We will be right back with more of the choice down here at Osceola Outfitters. <laughs> Look at them spurs. <laughs> thank you, Hoppy. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, man, man, oh man. <laughs> it's about time. One down, two to go in two days. Pressure is on the boys. How far are they? Okay, I can see him. 
pressure, doesn't scare me. First morning out, we know where they're roosting. We get settled in, got the decoy out there. Hoppy's doing a little bit of yelping, does the fan. We have these birds, they start going wide again. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna be another one of those. You know, I kinda made the comment to Ralph. I said, you know, these turkeys are probably gonna skirt the edge of the field, go all the way around us, just like Vicky's did, you know, the last three days. And sure enough, we look and there's those turkeys going around down the edge of the woods. They hit the canal bank in the background. They're headed to our left now. And I'm thinking, you've gotta be kidding me. You know, these turkeys haven't been messed with all season. You know, like I've always said, I hate turkey hunting. I really don't. I love it. It's something else. It's something great to do in the springtime. But the bottom line here, when something's got a brain that big and they could outsmart all of us, it starts ticking you off. We still got a good chance. Got to be positive. We're sitting in this palmetto bush, and, and I mean, this, this gobbler's coming in, and he's taking his time, taking his time. Hoppy's doing all the little tricks, and brings that decoy fan up and down, up and down, and that bird just keeps coming and coming and coming. And we have that other gobbler coming, and we're thinking, man, we'll wait a little bit, because this footage is awesome. And all of a sudden, you read that bird, and that bird near our decoy is like, mm, I'm out of here. I ain't letting him go. Figured he was going, and he's going back to Illinois. <laughs> oh, TC does it again. Uh, he was leaving, huh? Yep. <laughs> Beautiful bird. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that. A non-typical. <laughs> If he had it curled, you, in, he could hook them in there. And... You know, I've hunted for this, hunted one of these for like almost 40 years, and I finally got my first non-typical. Non-typical turkey. Yep. <coughs> yeah, right. You know, just as we thought that hunt was over with, it shows that you know if you don't give up, you, you know, something good can come of it. Well, this turkey comes in. Ralph gets it on the first morning of his hunt, and you know, I'm thinking, Vicky, three days. Ralph, one day things are going to get better from this point on. It's got to. We're back on track again. And uh, now it's RJ's turn. Nice. Nice bird. Oh my gosh, again, Osseol Outfitters, Uncle Hop. We got a nice gobbler. How come it took us three days to get Vicky, Vicky one? And we, what? An hour here, the first morning of your hunt? You know, I, I never, I, you know, I, I didn't I didn't want to say anything. She only had to shoot once this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we finally took the pump away from her just because we thought, you know what, if we give her, if we give her her TC with one shot, she just might make it happen. And it just took three days. Yep. Now, takes a morning. I, I don't, you know, maybe the reality of it is, is proof is in the pudding. Mm. Now again, you know, pressure, it don't scare us boys, us guys, you know what I mean? And after Vicky used up the majority of the hunt, and I only really, it took me a few hours, we were done, I knew it was RJ's turn. And you know, pressure with that boy, he's like his father. Sorry, Vicky. It is Good Friday. It's spring break, Easter break, Good Friday. Ralph shoots his bird first hour in the morning. We decided we're gonna take RJ out that afternoon. Well, we got RJ set up against a, a cypress tree and I tried to fan these birds over. I yelped to them and they just did respond. They didn't want to come in. And after about 30 minutes of trying, the, the grass was kind of tall and there was two or three, maybe four gobblers there. You know, I could see the red heads sticking up and you know, it was obvious that they weren't gonna come and 
I knew that the roost was a good half a mile away, so there's a good chance that afternoon they were gonna pull out and start heading back to roost. And since they didn't come to the fan right away, I said, RJ, we need to move on these birds and see if we can just, just do something a little different and make them come in. Once we got up there, the fanning wasn't working, or no calling was working to get them closer to us out from under that oak tree. So Hop said, I wanna try going GI Joe mode, crawling, and I'm like, yeah. So I started to crawl about 100 yards or so, and when we were getting closer and closer, they started walking away farther and farther, so had to keep trying. Well, RJ, did you get any briars in your feet, in your knees? They tore up. We just tried to crawl up on these turkeys and show them the tail fan. There was four gobblers there, but they weren't interested in coming over and whipping up on us. We still got some time. Let's go look for another one. I said, let's just keep going up. And well, what they were doing was shading under this big oak tree. And we got, it's the only oak in the whole field there. And we ended up getting under the oak and my knees are hurting. I know Ralph's knee is hurting him. And he's like, are we done? I said, I think so. Finally, we got to the tree and this hop starts fanning. And then the, this nice little hen comes in. I cannot believe that this hen, it was within like 10 feet of us. My heart was rushing so much. I knew if I moved, that game was over. Well, Hop and my dad were about to give up, but finally Hop said, whoa, wait, here comes the gobbler. You know, here we are. We finally got one's interest to come in, and now he's gonna walk to the right side of the trunk of this tree. Yep. Yeah! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! I stood up ready to go. My knees hurting. And I said, let me just look one more time and I see a head sticking out of the grass and he sees the fan. He comes right to us. Cream. <laughs> Get your legs shaking, boy. Unbelievable. What, you wanna go see mom? Go on, go see mom. What? Go see the tree. Look at that bird! Is it a good one? It's a look at the beard on him, buddy. One. Check out the spurs. Oh my goodness. That's a dandy. Look at that. Buddy, I am so proud of you. That was an unbelievable stalk. People, you know, when you get your kids hunting with you, there's nothing better, but to have RJ, that was 150 yards on your belly. <sighs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's amazing as you, as RJ continues to get older and, and, and taller, he's just getting more and more pumped into hunting and it, it's such a, such a great thing to be sharing with your children. Hoppy, Susan, all the Kempfers down here at Osso Outfitters, we can't thank you enough for allowing us to be part of your family, especially down here at Easter holiday. Easter time is a very special time of the year for us and Honestly, to be able to raise RJ and to bring him down here and for all the experiences he has, I mean, he shot his first hog down here like right before he was five years old. I mean, when you can bring your son down on a yearly basis and, and get him to experience hogs, gators, gobblers, and Christian life and everything, well, what, what can you say? Thanks so much, guys. We love y'all. It's That's always incredible. so much you fun know, down there. And as a family to go down there with RJ and you guys doing that spot and stalk and that hen getting so close, that was pretty cool. You know, and that's what it's about. We say it week after week is getting the kids involved. And yep. you, you know what I mean? I mean, Hoppy, down there, it is set up for families. It's just, Absolutely. Or if the guys just want to go. Yeah, so thank you, Hop, all the Kempfers, Osceola Outfitters. We love that place. We do. We Absolutely. Do. Okay, so if you happen to see the Lucky logo this yes, week. Yes, ma'am. Which was Hunter Specialties. Spray it and you will disappear. Get it? Oh mm, my gosh. You need to log on to choicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and, and someone's going to get some HS products and a whole bunch of other stuff too. Yes. Yes. Next week? Next week. Well, we're going way overseas. We are. We're going to Asia. Asia to try our luck and see what happens. And you know, like we said before, is you, you've got to practice under true conditions. Yes, we do. And we should practice some more now. Let's practice. That's right. So thanks for making your choice. A choice. We'll see you next week. Okay, go ahead. Turkey, I'm on him. Seriously, turkey. I'm on him. I'm on him. You got him? I'm on him. Here he comes. 
Are you mining? Are you on him? I'm on him. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. He's gone. There's Baby. watermelon everywhere. Oh, man. Yes. Woo. Woo. That's Good what job. you do. Five oh, yeah. High five. Yeah. Woo. I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs>